Looking for cheap, fast and reliable Madden 25 coins check out my sponsor MMOEXP and use code CAP 4% 5 off. Link in the description. If you guys say before we get into it, I do want to say I appreciate the support on all the videos. Uh, dropped a video yesterday. I told you guys if you guys gave me 25 uh, likes on the video that I would come out with another coin making method video. Uh, I told you guys I'm trying to do every other day, one for college football, the next day for, you know, Madden or whatever. Or, you know, if there's two methods for whatever game, then I can post it back to back. But, you know, both games are kind of in a slump right now after, you know, the Black Friday promos that both games dropped. So there's not many methods out. But I am going to be showing you guys uh, today a good method on Madden, on how to make coins. And uh, if you guys want another one of these types of videos, I'll ask you for 25 likes again. You guys seem to be doing well at give me 25 likes. So that's all I'm going to ask for. You know, I'm not going to ask for any more. Uh, as well as if you guys are interested in, you know, we're, we're, getting, we're getting up there in subscribers towards uh, 13K. We're at, you know, 12,470. So we're about 530 subscribers off of 13K. If you guys are interested in the 13,000 uh, subscriber giveaway then all you guys got to do is just be subscribed to the channel. You know, stay tuned to the channel until we hit 13K. But, yeah, just be active on the channel because, you know, you guys definitely will have a good shot at winning that. I do give up, you know, three winners usually. But who knows? We could probably split the prize between five or ten people depending on whatever. Um, but, yeah, I don't want to, you know, be talking too much. We're definitely like a minute and a half into the video, me yapping. Um, but, yeah, I just really do want to say I appreciate all the support. And without further ado, let's get straight into this method now. I always tell you guys, whatever's on the front page of the marketplace, I'm dead ass. I got to repeat on myself. I say it all the time. But whatever's on the front page is what you guys want to do. It's just that simple. And the only reason for that is because these are LTD cards. Like, this is the newest cards. It's the newest promo in the game. So everyone is doing this right now. You know, uh, whether it's pulling packs or making sets or whatever it may be. Uh, make sure you guys are also opening up these these uh, packs right here. You never know what you guys can get. You guys can definitely get some crazy stuff out of here. Um, but... Um, that's not the method. It is finding out what is coming out of these team of the week packs as of right now. So where are they? Seventy k, seventy k for two eighty five plus overall team of the week players. Hundred percent, seventy five percent for eighty sevens and twenty one percent for eighty nines. So knowing these odds are eighty fives, eighty sevens, eighty nines. All right, eighty sevens and eighty fives are flying out of here. Kind of like those odds are like crazy. So. We're going to go to the auction hub, auction house. We're going to go down to program. We're going to find team of the week. Where is it? I'm blind. I probably won't buy it on the I actually found it. Team of the week, right? The one thing people don't know how to do, just in general, of this game is filter. That's like the number one thing in Mutt on the ultimate team side of the game is people don't know how to filter. Like, these aren't the newest cards. 44 minutes. So you want to just filter down the cards. Go to program, team of the week. Obviously, like I just say, 85s are flying out of these packs right now. 85s are like guaranteed cards. 84s do not come out of this pack anymore. So you guys want to be sniping these 85 pluses, right? Anything that's 85 is coming out of this pack. So I probably would prefer doing the 86, 87. I feel like just this would be probably possibly better to snipe. Um, we're seeing that these cards can be sold for... I mean, there's not many of them up, right? Like, is this the newest cards right now in the game? Let me see. Yeah, those are like the newest cards in the game. So, like, that's what I'm saying. If you guys are super patient, there's not many of these cards up right now, but they are being pulled. So, you know, I, I would say you guys could definitely sell these cards for about, like, 19, 18K. Because, look, there's only, what, six right here. And if you wipe off these six off the auction house, which all expire within the next 25 minutes. This is what I'm saying with this method. You got to learn how, like, the auction house kind of works. These all expire within, like, the next 25 minutes, pretty much. Besides, like, this card right here, obviously, right? But... You know, assuming it's probably going to sell because these cars are all expiring and that will be the newest, cheapest one. Then the value goes up to like 19000 right? So that's what I'm saying. Never undersell what you guys are selling. Like, always make sure you guys are selling it. Um, and pretty much, if you guys are just underselling stuff, you're not going to make that much coins, right? Obviously. So you just sit here and you want to grab these cars for like, I don't know, 14500 or cheaper. And... Then, after you get it for 14500 or cheaper, you would flip it for about like 19000 or whatever it may be. I'm on PS5, so it's 19500 
uh, and then you guys make like three to four thousand coins. You guys do that twenty times in an hour, which is definitely doable. Uh, like I said, you guys just gotta put the time in it and the patience. You guys can be making about like 120k, 150k an hour doing this method. Um, it's one of my favorite methods in the game to do. Is whenever a promo comes out, you guys just want to snipe whatever's coming out of the packs, the highest odds. If you guys want to move the overalls, if you guys can, but I really don't want to cover that side too much because once you guys move the overalls, these prices are kind of dropping rapidly, and on top of that. Um, taxes start to get involved when you guys do buy cars it takes away 10% on the auction house so if you buy a car for 10k you sell it for 10k you're gonna get back 9k 100k you sell it for 100k you're gonna get back 90k so on and so forth they take away 10% so always have that into consideration that's why I stick to lower overall cards not because it's like oh super cheap but it's much easier to flip they're getting pulled more often and not only that they're getting posted more often and they're more affordable to be flipping. And also, like, the, the gaps of you making profit, sometimes these lower cards make you more profit than these higher overall cards. Because, like I said, you need to get a ridiculous snipe because you need to cover the taxes as well. So that's it for today's video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll be uh, back with another video tomorrow. Peace out.